Number 1. Mainz Cathedral. With a millennium of history in its walls, Mainz's immense sandstone cathedral radiates religious and political power. The design is still mostly Romanesque from the High Middle Ages, but there's also some Gothic and Baroque design in the chapels and roof. Number 2. Gutenberg Museum. The Gutenberg Museum was inaugurated in 1900 on the 500th anniversary of Johannes Gutenberg's birth, and in 1927 moved into the delightful Renaissance townhouse, Zum Rommischenkaiser, across the way from the cathedral. Number 3. Market. The largest of the four squares around the cathedral, Market is on the north side and developed with the cathedral in the 10th century. There's a market trading here on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday mornings. Number 4. Steffenskirch. Atop the highest hill in the old city, Steffenskirch was founded in 990 and has mostly Gothic architecture from the 1300s. A later extension was the beautiful Gothic cloister, added in the 15th century, with marvelous vaults on its south wall. Number 5. Kirschgarten. One of the prettiest scenes in Mainz is this small rectangular square enclosed by tall half-timbered houses. The square itself dates back to before 1329, while its houses are from the 16th to the 18th centuries. Number 6. Schillerplatz. A grand tree-lined square, Schillerplatz was already a public plaza in Mainz's Roman era and was used as a marketplace in the Middle Ages. The square is fringed by regal palaces in the Baroque and Rococo styles housing state government offices. Number 7. Rheinufer. If you're in the mood, you can walk beside the Rhine for hours, from Mainz's Neustadt in the north to the railway bridge that marks the southern limit of the city in the south. In summer you won't have to take more than a few steps before coming to a beer garden with riverside views, an ice cream stand. Number 8. Augustinerkirch. Built between 1768 and 1771, the Catholic Augustinerkirch is a Baroque masterpiece unaffected by the Second World War. Above the portal on Augustinerstrasse look for the group of sculptures depicting the coronation of Mary between Augustine of Hippo and his mother Monica of Hippo. Number 9. Landes Museum Mines. A museum of archaeology, art and culture, the Landes Museum Mines has a collection that begins in prehistory and comes right up to the 21st century. The attraction is in a Baroque former barracks building that was given a modern glass annex in 2010. If you love Gothic and Renaissance art there's much to uncover. Number 10. Museum of Ancient Seafaring. In the early 1980s the well-preserved remains of several Roman warships from the 4th century were found during construction work by the Rhine. These five vessels are the core of this museum's exhibition and are from two different designs. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.